I guess that's yeah, some pelvic pain, um, usually associated with, um, say, an accident, trauma to the leg. Uh, it can also be associated with cancers and a variety of other uh, diseases that can make somebody more prone to develop clot. If it is treated with anticoagulation, frequently you can prevent the development of the clot going to the lung. But in a substantial percentage of the patients, the clot will go to the lung and cause a pulmonary emboli or a clot in the lung. The majority of the patients will not develop chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension or develop pulmonary hypertension as a result of that. So in 95 plus percent of the population, the clot resolves without further sequelae and they should be kept on anticoagulation mm -hmm. for a period of time. That period of time is usually between six months and a year and they will not have other ill effects. Unfortunately, a percentage of patients, it will not resolve and those patients will go on to develop pulmonary hypertension. This is a, up in the upper uh, left-hand portion is a CT scan documenting a, a pulmonary emboli that um, occurred. That embolus in patients who develop chronic thromboembolic, but the blood vessel actually responds to that injury and forms scar tissue. And it is the scar tissue or the fibro in the blood vessels. With the vasculopathy or the disease in the blood vessels themselves, you will develop the pulmonary hypertension. And that is really you know, kind of the focus of what these operations are um, involved. It was, in it, oops. it was initially thought that only uh, less than 1% of the population who developed a blood clot in the lungs actually went on to develop pulmonary hypertension. And this is a study uh, that was reported in the New England Journal, one of the American uh, medical journals, that followed patients after they had a blood clot with serial echocardiograms. And it turned out that it was closer to 4% by two years. It appears that it's maybe as high as 5% at five years that actually will develop pulmonary hypertension in association with the clot that goes through the lung. These are just some uh, pictures, some angi uh, angiograms demonstrating uh, in the upper left-hand corner some of the viral hyperplasia that occurs and causes narrowing in the upper lobe vessels, some occlusions that are occurring into the lower lobe vessels. And this is an MRI to the right that can confirm the same thing. And again, uh, pictures of the angiogram and the CT angiograms demonstrating, again, uh, disease in the blood vessels themselves. This is a, what we would call a Jameson one or, or um, involvement of very proximal portions of the pulmonary arteries. 